YouTube. Uh, Shui here. Just wanted to update you guys and update some of my users on Fur Affinity on uh, what I've been working on recently. Recently, I have been making these little... I've been using up scrap fabric, and I made little chocobo tails. And I've just got to sew up the ends of them, and I'll put those on Fur by. I've made... I'm putting my dragon tail back online. Um, it was originally a Dragonite, but it wasn't selling as a set, so I'm just going to put it up as the tail. Um, I've got a puppy dog tail, I've got two, three fleece tails, um, another, let me see what this is. I've got a short cat tail, I don't know what you could use it for, but you could use it for something. All of my tails now are... Instead of belt holes on them, I fold the top over and sew a little hole right here. So you wear it like that on your belt, on your pants. Um, that's what's different. Um, I've got two tails I wanted to show specific. Oh, and I'm working on my Aridin cosplay. These horns are being a bitch. I've got, I've got the base coat. I just got to go to Walmart and get the. Um, spray paint to finish them. They're made out of the Model Magic foamy stuff. Like it's Play-Doh to begin with and then it hardens to foam. So they're really lightweight but they've broken twice. Um, my girlfriend's making Solux um, and I'm going to be aired and she's got the she's got a set one set of large and one set of small and hers are pretty darn done. Mine were still wet when I tried to paint them but anyway um, so, I've already got my belt. I'm going to show you guys two tails that I've been working on. Let me just turn this around. Here, I'll probably have to put it somewhere lower. Dur, 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 dur. Hurt, dur. Alright, I don't know how well you guys can see, but hold on, I'm going to be in the way for a second. I wanted to show, this is a tail I'm doing on commission. I don't know how well you guys can see. I just got fur in the mail, so I got fur everywhere. Um, but this one's going to be a dry... It, well, it is a tiger. It's not going to be a tiger. It is a tiger. It's done. 100% hand sewn on commission. Um, it's one of my newer tails, so it has the newer belt loop in it. If someone commissions me and you get my tail to know what's the top and what's the bottom, the top goes straight down. There's nothing on it. Like, there's nothing on the top. The bottom, because when... I fold them over and sew it, there's going to be this flap. So this part right here goes against your butt and this part is the top. So when you go to put it on, you got to find the hole with your hands and find the end of your belt and slip it through that hole. Just kind of wiggle that in there. It, the reason I don't use the belt loops like I used to, there we go, see there? Not so hard. The reason I don't use the belt loops like I used to is because this way it's a more solid look and if the tail sags, you can't really, um, you can't, you won't be able to see the belt loops and that just makes it look ten times better. So, see there? And now you can't see the belt loops, it looks like it's just solid fur all the way down. This tail is, you can't see the bottom of it, but it drags the floor. Let me see. I'm going to move you again. Let me see how well this looks. Um, yeah, you guys can kind of see it. But uh, this tail drags the floor. It's... I'm going to turn this. There we go. Uh, it drags the floor. Walk out the door here because I don't know how well you guys can see. But I'm 5'7 and it drags the floor. Um, I heard that the commissioner is like a little under five foot I think so this will be like it'll be very adorable regardless um, but it's very long very very fluffy um, on my if anyone's interested this is body pillow sized I have small medium large extra large and body pillow size and this would constitute for the body pillow size uh, the next one I'm going to show you if I can just set that there we go um, uh, another reason I don't use the old belt loops is because this one just it just comes right off the other belt loops would stick really bad 
Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is a gift to one of my followers on Fur Affinity. It is a, it belongs, the character belongs to Crunchbite21, I think that's his username, something like that. Uh, the character's name is Seal. The fur isn't the correct color, but I figured it would be an okay gift. Um, I think he's like a fox whale or something, I don't know. Something aquatic, that's why the end of it is shaped like a whale or a dolphin. Um, I was testing out my machine on this. Uh, I got a new machine, you guys, uh, that have commissioned me. You've helped so much. I was able to buy a new pretty darn good machine. Uh, unfortunately, I broke two needles trying to put this guy together. Um, Crunchbite, if you see this video, I suggest using a very small width belt because when I went to go hand sew this, um, the belt hole ended up a little thinner than I wanted. But again, the flap goes on your butt, and the flat side goes facing out. So like so. Let me get my belt. And with this one, I suggest propping it up on something to put it on, because it's kind of heavy. And I knock over my lotion. That's okay. But, well, if it doesn't fall off of everything. This is also body pillow size. It is very large, kind of heavy, but it's absolutely adorable regardless. Let me see if I can just get this through here. It takes a little work, but it's definitely worth it once you go to wear it. Hold on. I'll put it on my bed so I can reach better. I'm sitting on plastic, the fur came in. That's what the crinkling is. If you can hear it, I don't know if you can. Dur -dur -dur. This is going to take a second. Oh, I remember my design plan for this. You can stick your hand, well, there we go. You can stick your hand in here to grab the belt and pull it through. See there? And then you stick it through here again. I don't know how well you can see, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. And then you just, well, and then you just, and then you just. Yeah, this was definitely, um, it was an experiment and a, I'm sorry, there we go, see there? And then you pull it, you don't put it through the back loop unless you, like, find a way to do it. You put it through the side loop over here again, and you pull it tight, and you shift it around a little bit. This tail is definitely an experiment tail. There we go. Oh, there we go. Um, I made it too heavy. Um, but again, it's a gift, and it's the thought that counts, right? Fighting with my belt now. There we go. There we are. And there is Seal's belt, or Seal's tail. Um, the bottom of it twists just a little bit um, because I broke, you know, a few needles on my sewing machine. I don't know how well you guys can see. Let me put you down again. Put you down here. There you go. There's my big pile of tails, but there's that one. I don't know how well you guys can see. But, so many tails. Um, yeah, there's that one. Um, once you actually get it on the belt and get it stabilized, it's not too bad. Getting it on you is the hard part. But after you get it on you, it's very cute and very comfortable. Um, if you guys want a durability test, uh, just, I mean, I trust my stuff. I've dropped one of my heads on purpose before. Um, I've yanked the fabric of my tail. Hold on. 
I'm gonna put you in the floor for a second. So you can see the length. I don't know how far down the hallway I have to go, but this one doesn't quite touch the ground. Uh, I meant for it too, but it didn't quite get that far. Um, it was very durable. I mean, I trust my stuff. So, and I have vapors downstairs, so I really need to be more quiet. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, um, that's about it for right now, you guys. I'm going to get back to using up some fabric. And, oh, there's my sewing machine you guys helped me get. Oh, already broken two needles on it, and I've thrown... Let me get this off while I talk. I've thrown gears one through six out, so I've got to take it to the store and fix those. But other than that... Um... Other than that, it is amazing. It goes through two layers of fur, okay, as long as I have the fur laying down completely flat. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's about it. I will give you guys another update once I get some, um, some more of my commissions done. I've got two partials i got to work on. A head, a fursuit, or a full suit, a tail. Um, pretty much my commission list is full at the moment. Uh, I'll make more videos as I get feet and hands and heads and stuff done on those. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks for sticking with me, you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to be nice and give me a good old comment, just comment down there. Um, or you can find me on Fur Affinity, my usernames. I have two accounts. One account is my drawings account, which is Shwee. It's just S, capital S, H-W-E-E. -E. Uh, my... Other account, which is all my fur suiting and my crafts, is Shui Wolf Crafts, and I'll probably put that right here. I'll put it right here. Yeah, there you go. Go there. Just look me up on Fur Affinity. Um, but yeah, you guys. Uh, I think that's about it for this time. So, peace out.